Now sports with Jared Joseph. LSU softball is coming off a dominant performance in the opening round of the Baton Rouge Regional where the Tigers run rule to McNeese. Now the Bayou Bengals face UL Lafayette, a team LSU beat twice in the regular season, but with seven total runs between both games. However, the Tiger Bats do not have a problem against the Cajun pitchers today. Beth Tumina trying to get her Tigers to the regional final on Sunday, but the Cajuns stand in their way. Shelby Sanceri gets the start for the second straight game, but UL Lafayette striking first. Sierra Bryant hits a bomb to right field, and the Cajuns take a 1-0 lead in the first. The Tiger Bats respond, say, ain't no problem, ain't no problem. Base is loaded, and who else? Amanda Doyle, the senior, knocks this one into left field for a 2-RBI double, and LSU takes the lead 2-1. Same score later in the frame. Runners in scoring position. How about Raylene Gutierrez? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a bomb. Three run homer off the right field foul pole. Tigers go up 5 1 in the bottom of the first. They jump to the bottom of the sixth. LSU now leads 8 3. And Sunseri now the plate, and she gets some home run revenge, going yard to center field for her 33rd career home run. The Tigers go up 9-3, and LSU beats UL Lafayette 10-3 and advances to the Baton Rouge Regional Final. Head coach Beth Turina is excited to see her team advance to Sunday. This game is huge in the whole way this tournament is set up. You know, you get to get so much more rest and prep not having to play that game tonight. This win, this Saturday win, is and we've lost it and still managed to come back. So it's not it's out of the question. We, we've lived that life too, like, about every way possible. But um, I think getting this win, getting to send our kids home for the day, getting them to rest, all the for the rest of the weekend. Now let's jump to College Station. LSU baseball trying to spoil Texas A&M senior day in the rubber match. Jump to the top of the third. Tigers up 2-0. Gavin Dugas hits a solo shot to center field. Left center field. LSU extends its lead. Now ahead 3-0. And later in the frame, still 3-0 with a runner on first. Zagrano says, anything you can do, I can do better. He hits a two-run bomb to left center. LSU now up 5-0 in the top of the third. And same score still in the third inning. Drew Bianco hurt. There's a home run party in left field, and he joins the fray. Bianco with a one-run bomb, and the Tigers all of a sudden go up 6-0 through three frames. Now on the top of the ninth, LSU up 7-2 with a runner on second. And how about Trey Morgan? He's going to knock this pitch coming up. It'll be his 80th hit of the season. He runs Jordan Thompson in, and the Tigers take an 8-2 lead, and that is your final. LSU clinches the series. Now let's head on over to Toyota Field, Southern facing Prairie View A&M for a spot in the SWAC Tournament Championship game. Jags down 1-0 at the top of the third, and runner on, runner on second and third, and Javante Doris lines this one down the middle. Two RBI single, and Southern takes the lead now up 2-1. Same score later in the frame. Runner in scoring position for Southern. Tosh Porter right lifts that one just over the Panther pitcher. Doris gets home and, and Southern extends its lead to 3-1. Two innings later, the Jags now up 3-2 with 2-1. And Tremaine Spears hits a gapper to shallow right center. And two Jaguars cross the dish. Demario Southern Smith. extends one its lead to 5-2. And Jags go up 8-4 and move on to the championship and game to face Spears Jackson State in its rack championship double. final. All right, a lot of baseball action, but that's it for sports. We'll be right back.